It's Monday, June 12, 2017, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. In the news, Cuban asylum seekers held protests outside Red Cross building. First meeting of youth parliament adjourned. National Archive wants to bring all Surinamese archives back to Suriname. Indian Cultural Center holds week-long activities in commemoration of World Yoga Day. I'm Susan Maynard and your local news begins now. Cuban political asylum seekers want a legal status in Suriname. On Friday, a group of Cubans held a peaceful protest outside the Red Cross building in Paramaribo. The protesters indicated what their problem is. The Cubans say they have been in Suriname for seven months now. They fled from Cuba because they criticized the policy of the Cuban government. They choose for Suriname because they thought to get political protection here. According to the Red Cross, this group of Cuban refugees has a legal refugee status from the UN Refugee Agency. According to international conventions, they would be required to have a residence permit for one year in Suriname. The first meeting of the youth parliament was adjourned on Saturday to date yet to be determined. This suspension has to do with a position that the parliament had to take when it comes to members who go on political stages. This position will be discussed in a private meeting, according to Kelvin Koniki, chairman of the youth parliament. Such an issue was discussed in 2010. According to the chairman's observation, the members were enthusiastic and the discussions valid. He notes that the youth parliament needs some training courses, including meeting technique and speaking skills. The youth parliament has installed the fixed committees on Saturday. These are the committees for education, national and international relations, sports and recreation, media and information, and social welfare and social affairs. The National Archives of Suriname, NAS, wants to come up with a project to bring all Surinamese archives still in other countries back in Suriname. Rita Chinfu, archivist, and director of the NAS says that the National Archive Suriname wants to keep and manage this important part of our history for generations to come. In addition to the 800 meters of archives returned earlier this year by the Netherlands, important historical pieces of Suriname are still in different parts of the world and we should also have them back said Chin Fu. According to Rita Chin Fu, this will not be a simple task because certain countries want money for the Surinamese archives, which they have managed and stored for centuries. Chin Fu further states that the National Archives of Suriname has agreements with the International Council and Archive ICA to support Suriname with this project. When the archives will finally end up in Suriname is according to Chinfu, not yet clear. In the context of International Yoga Day, the Indian Cultural Center Paramaribo ICC and the Indian Embassy are holding a week of activities. Friday night, the activity week has officially started with a lecture of the India Ambassador Satender Kumar. Yoga begins to get a place in Suriname. New for Suriname is the kids' yoga. 
Participating yoga creates much more than just the physical part. It also serves not only for the personal interest, but for total humanity. Yoga connects the subconscious with the conscious. Without proper cohesion and balance, the body can't reach the ultimate limit. With yoga, man discovers how far his body can go in association with the mind and breathing. During this week, the focus is, among others, on yoga at the pregnancy, therapeutic yoga, and yoga for the elderly, also children's yoga. International Yoga Day is on June 18th, and the closing of the activities will be in the Kaka F Hall. It will be organized for the third time in Suriname. That concludes our local news for today. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day.